Hi, I'm Liz Rice from Aqua Security. And today I want to talk about a new integration that allows Kubebench to write results into AWS Security Hub. Kubebench is an open source tool that uh, runs the CIS Kubernetes benchmark on your cluster. And it can also run the EKS specific version of that benchmark. And those benchmarks check for configuration settings to make sure that uh, your cluster is configured according to security best practices. So the idea of this integration is you can run Kubebench in your cluster and it will report the findings if any tests fail or generate a warning, they will appear in your security hub findings. So today I'm going to show you what you need to do to get that integration working. So first of all, you need to enable the integration, which uh, you'll find under the Security Hub list of integrations. Just go straight there. And we can filter these, look for Kubernetes related ones, just look for Kube. And we're going to select the Aqua Kubebench integration and we want to accept the findings. Now, this tells us that we need to set up uh, some IAM permissions. Now, let's just talk about that for a, mo for a moment. So your Kubebench job is going to run in a pod in your Kubernetes cluster. And it wants to send some results into Security Hub. And it's going to need permissions to allow it to access to do that write operation or submit uh, findings into Security Hub. And in particular, what this integration needs is this action, uh, Security Hub batch import findings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on accept findings, which enables this integration. And then I'm going to go to I am and find the role that my node group in my cluster is using club cluster here we go All right so let's look at this role and i need to attach i'm going to do it as an inline policy and i'm going to use json and i've got a copy of the policy that i need here so you can see we need to allow that batch import findings action. And I'm enabling it for this particular integration. So I'm running it in the US East region, and this is the identifier for that integration. So I'm going to review that. I need to give this a, po a policy name. So we'll say cube. Bench security hub import findings. Okay, so that's now associated with, or it's part of the permissions that my node group has. So this is the, the default. You can set up a service account for a pod and it will pick up the permissions configured specifically for that pod. That would be uh, better than what I've done here. I'm, I'm using the default permissions that are going to be assigned to all pods running in my cluster. Um, so we could make that, um, you know, we could uh, limit access to Security Hub just to my Kubebench job. Um, but for now, I'm just using this uh, node group role for simplicity. Okay, so that set up things on the security hub side. Now I need to build my Kubebench job. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is clone the Kubebench repo, which um, actually I should show you that. So here it is on Aqua Security Kubebench. And if we scroll down here, we can find the instructions for running in an EKS cluster. It will talk here about the steps we're going to have to go through. 
what we need to do is uh, build an instance of the Kubebench container image. We're going to push it to the ECR registry and we're going to run it from there. So the first thing I need to do is clone the repo. Um, I've actually already got a copy of the repo, so I'm just going to um, make sure I'm up to date with the master. Okay, so apparently I am. And there are a couple of things I need to edit before I build the image. The first is I need to edit the, uh, the job that we're going to run. Uh, yeah, job EKS. And in here, there are two things I'm going to do. One is to enable the sending the findings in the format that Security Hub understands. I'm going to comment out this version of the command. So we're going to specify ASFF. That stands for AWS Security Finding Format. So this tells Kubebench to output results in this format and send it to Security Hub. We're also going to have to specify the image that we're going to push to ECR. And as you can see, it says you need to push it to your ECR in your region. So uh, we need to build that image. And before we do that, we need to set up some configuration which lives inside config. We're going to run the EKS specific version of the tests. And in this config file, you'll find there are these three settings we need to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in that I'm for this demo running in US East One. And I'm going to put my account number and my cluster ARN in here as well. All right, so I filled in those details and now I'm going to make my container, which I can do with make build docker. Okay, we just wait for a few seconds for that to complete. Okay. So I've got my version of Kubebench built with my account information. So Kubebench knows where to send the, um, the findings in, in which security hub account. So I'm going to need to tag this image and then push it to my ECR registry. So that's going to look something like this. So we take this version and oops an environment variable like this. And oops. I need to put the rest of the URL in. Key benches. All right. So I'll tag that and then I'll do Docker push to this identifier as well. Do Docker push. And the last thing I need to do is go back and edit that job. Um, KS YAML. And I need to replace the image name with the, uh, the image identifier with, with this particular tag version that I've just pushed. I'm going to replace this with my account ID now. So now I should be able to apply that job. KS. And we'll have a look at the pods that that's created. That's running. Get 
the pods. That's completed. Get the logs from that job. And it says it did actually import a finding. So if we go back to our Security Hub console and we look at findings, and we can see here just now, a few seconds ago, there is a finding reported for the CIS Kubernetes benchmark. So you can find more details and the instructions for this uh, on the GitHub repo for Kubebench. And if you have any questions or any problems with that, please do go ahead and raise an issue. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.